Hi everyone, it's Tanya and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be my September TBR, but it's going to be a slightly different one because I have always wanted to try to do a TBR game. So TBR game is like nothing new, a lot of people are doing TBR games currently and those videos are so fun to watch. I really enjoy watching those videos and that's why I wanted to do something similar, to try something similar on my channel as well. So I want to try different TBR games, we will see how it's gonna go. Today I decided to start with the easiest one, the simplest one, random numbers, choose my TBR. I didn't want to use like random number generator. So I prepared like cards with like these cats and numbers on the front and on the back. And so I have like a whole stack of them. So I counted all the books that are currently on my TBR that I want to to read that I need to read and those are like 56 books. I have a few more but I have like video ideas for those books so that's why I didn't count those books. I only counted books that are like not included in like any particular video idea currently. So those books are 52 and yeah so I have all the numbers. I'm going to just mix them up on both. They are written on both sides. Also I really like this cat. Look at this cat. Look at this cat, he's so cute. It says lovable cat and it's absolutely lovable. Them up. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put them in this pouch. So I got this pouch when I'm in my video, bookish things from Wish, if you want you can watch them. So this is the item, I don't really use it a lot, so I decided why not to use it for this game. So I'm gonna just put these cards there. I'm going to also shake it. Okay, maybe it's not the best. Maybe it's not the best object for this, but it's okay. <laughs> Okay, I think I've shaken it up. <laughs> and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to, to take out one, num one number this side. So this is, which number? Number three. Yeah, and if I choose one card, I just take it out so the card wouldn't repeat. Okay, so number three. Number three is actually a book that I'm very excited about, I really want to read it. And this is Pushing the Bear by Diane Glancy. And this book is by a Native American author about Native American history. And this is a novel of the Trial of Tears. This is a story of relocation of Native Americans in the 19th century. I really am excited about this book. It has been on my TBR for so long, I finally get to read it. So this is the first book. Let's a little bit shake it again. Let's shake it up a little bit. Are you shaking? Maybe not shaking. Let's shake it a little bit again. Okay, so next number. Next number, let's say this. And let's say this side. Again, white. I wanted a cat, okay. But <laughs> number 17. Number 17, okay, let me count. <laughs> Number 17 is also actually a very interesting book which I'm very excited about. It, it is Actress. Actress by Anne Enright. This is a story about relationships between a mother and her daughter. And the mother, she isn't like a, the, a very good parent, she is an actress. She doesn't pay enough attention to her daughter, she, but daughter really adores her mother. So this is like this type of relationship. I am very excited about this book, I expect it to be very interesting. Also, I forgot to mention how many books I'm going to choose. I honestly don't know, consider that I don't read very fast. Let's say I will choose seven books. I will choose seven books and I think that's a good number. Or eight. I kind of like the number eight. Let's choose eight. I like number eight. Okay, <laughs> eight books. Why oh, it's not shaking? Okay, I'm shaking. Whatever. <laughs> okay, next. Maybe it's not the best pouch. Next thing. Okay. I want to take this side. Okay. I want a cat. Why all of them are white? <laughs> okay, number nine. Number nine is another adorable book, which is The Dog Who Dares to Dream by a Korean author, author Soon Mi Won. I am very excited about this book. This is a story of a puppy. I guess it's like a story of an outsider, because what the blurb says, the puppy has a very distinctive 
appearance and because of that she spends most of her time alone and apparently it's, it's a story of overcoming that and learning to accept yourself because what it says again in the blurb like in the world outside there are but possibilities of friendship and motherhood and the life that she really wants for herself so i guess it's it's going to be a story of learning to accept and love yourself that's like what i get from the blurb so i expect it to be also very good i'm very excited about this book as well i feel like shaking is useful so I will just take the next one. <laughs> next one that I just grab. Okay, let's. I really want the cat side. Which one is the cat side? Can't really tell. Maybe this is cat side. No, can't wait. Number thirty. Number thirty-two. I really want to get a cat side, and I don't get cats. Okay, so number 32 is this book. Will you please be quiet, please? By Raymond Carver. I haven't read anything by this author, so it's going to be my introduction to him. But this is a collection of his short stories. And actually, I really like what the blurb says. So with this first collection, Carver breathed new life into the short story. Carver showed how humor and tragedy dwell in the hearts of ordinary people and won a readership that grew with every subsequent brilliant collection of stories, poems and essays that appeared in the last 11 years of his life. I really like the way the blurb sounds, so I am very excited to get to this book. <laughs> so this is uh, book number four. Okay, book number four. Next, next draw. Please give me a cat, please give me a cat, please a cat, this side. Boop, boop. 37. Book number five is actually also a good one. It was on my five star prediction list. So I recently made a video with my five star predictions. If you haven't watched, I will link it up here, but it's there. And this is the Kite Runner. And I'm so happy that I got it because now I will finally read it. I have very high hopes for this book. I'm convinced I'm going to love it. So the Kite Runner goes for my September TBR. Okay, now we have five books. We have three more. Three more. Let's see this. Okay, not thinking too much. This side. I can't wait. Number seven. Why I cannot get single cat in this? I want a cat. Okay, number seven. Number seven is another book by a Korean author, and this is Familiar Things by Won Suk Young. This is a story of a mother and, and her son who move from the Seoul to the suburbs of Seoul. And there is a small community of people there who are actually very poor and they go through trash, so they, they, they separate garbage. Yeah, so they weed recyclables from the rubbish. Then one night, the boy notices mysterious lights dancing around the landfill. And could it be the island's ancient spirits? Is his luck about to change? Familiar Things depicts a society on the edge of dizzying economic and social change. It's a haunting reminder to us all to be careful of what we throw away. It sounds very good and I'm very excited to get to this book as well. I, it has been also on my TV rough to bear for a very long time. I initially intended to read it for Korea Jathon, which happened in the beginning of July, but I didn't get to it because I read quite slowly. Hopefully I will be able to get to it in September. Wish me luck. Next draw. Okay, now we have how many? Six. Two more. Two more. Okay. I really want to get this one. <laughs> Give me bye. 41. Okay, so number 41 was also a book that has been on my TBR for like forever, <laughs> which is Cat's Cradle by Kurt Vonnegut. This is a story of a scientist who created this deathly chemical 
which can freeze the whole planet and basically it will be apocalypse so the end of the world after his death everybody starts looking for that weapon and apparently it leads to his three eccentric children to a crazed dictator in the caribbean and to madness and apparently the story is told with deadpan humor and bitter irony I'm excited to give it a try and it's going to be my first book by Kurt Vonnegut and now I have seven books and one more okay one more draw and let me just choose something random this side again oh cat finally 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 I have a cat <laughs> okay good number number 31 okay so the last eight book number 31 was right sheet revisited by Evelyn Evelyn Wo. I also had this book for a very long time and I'm I'm happy that I finally get to read it. As far as I I don't really remember what it's about because it has been so long that I bought it. I, I think it's like is it some kind of memory of life of English aristocracy in like the late 19th century I might be wrong, I don't really remember what this book is about. I'm excited that I finally get to read it. Okay, so here you get, you have it guys, all eight books. I feel like this is a good looking TBR for September, so two books for one week. I feel like it's doable, it's totally doable. So yeah, eight books, they all look very good and very interesting and i'm very excited about all of them let me down in the comments if you enjoyed this type of video like random numbers choose by tbr if you generally enjoy tbr games i want to try i have like an idea for a tbr game you will see maybe i try it for october actually i really enjoyed it and look such a good selection i feel like i wouldn't choose these books myself i definitely wouldn't have chosen actress i definitely wouldn't have chosen cat's cradle and not Bright Sheet Revisited. So I'm happy that like this TBR gave me such like random books, which are actually I'm excited about. It's just like they wouldn't be on my priority. I'm glad that this is my book for September. I really enjoyed picking them. I, I'm really happy I finally got a cat in the end, <laughs> even though it doesn't mean anything, but you know, still. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a very good day, staying safe, and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon in my next videos. Thank you very much. Bye.